love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create end screens for YouTube using LumaFusion. End screen elements appear 20 seconds before the end of all YouTube videos. To create end screens that don't interfere with the end of your video, it's important to plan for it. You don't have to use outro music, but you can. Since there's already a good music track in this video, I'll use it for this tutorial. For more information on YouTube end screens, take a look at the YouTube card later in the I've video. I've got to add it as a separate audio track underneath the video. This is so that it sounds right when the end screens appear and the music continues. Scrub to the end of the video and split the music track. Since there's already music in the video, I'm going to delete the half on the left. I'll select it and then tap the trash can to delete it. Now the music track is in place. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a blank clip. Tap on the plus sign to add a clip and choose blank clip. By default it will add one blank clip right after the end of the video which is two seconds long. Drag the end of the clip out until the value reads 5.00. This may take some time to get just right. To save time, I adjusted the clip off screen. Tap on the duplicate icon to duplicate that clip four more times. This should make a total of an extra 20 seconds. And that way, the end screen elements won't interfere with the end of your video. Next, scrub back to the end of your video to make sure that you've got four blank clips that are five seconds long. Next, I'll split the music track after the end of the last blank clip and delete the part on the right because this is the end of my video. And I'll scrub back to the end of the video and listen to the results. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. That music was way too loud, so I'm going to turn down the volume. To make it a little quieter. Adjust the volume slider that corresponds to your audio track and listen to it until you get it just right. Tap the play button to play the video. That sounds better. Here's an example of an end screen on YouTube. Notice the plain black screen. The end screen elements appear on top of the black screen. Thus, they don't interfere with the end of the video. This example has no outro music. If you don't want to use outro music, just delete your music track. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.